Hi there, my name is Tomás Zsolt Nagy. I'm working on 2D animation projects and I'm sharing the created contents on my YouTube channel Cartoons and Fun. In an animation project we need many skilled people who are responsible for the different work phases. For example, creating the storyboard, designing the characters, animating the characters and the props and so on. But I don't have such partners with whom I could share the workload. I do everything myself. It's quite challenging but feasible. How can I do it? I found an animation software that makes my job easier. This is Cartoon Animator 5. I've been using it since the time I started to work on animations, about 4 years ago. I can tell you it's the perfect choice, either you are a beginner or you are a professional. Today I will show you some key steps of how I create animations with Cartoon Animator 5 and I will share with you a few interesting features of the new software release. You will see also in this behind the scenes video how perfectly this software supports the collaboration with the popular graphic and video editor applications. I will use my new animation Maxi the Hero for the demonstrations. I like the traditional graphic design so I took my sketchbook and drew a giraffe on paper. Then I scanned it and I made the character more contoured in Photoshop. This picture became the background layer in Adobe Illustrator and I used it as a sample image when I drew my actor in a vector graphic format. It's really important to separate your image as many layers as possible because uh, you must organize them in line with the cartoon animator template structure. We can see the vector graphic character templates given by a cartoon animator. Uh, I'm going to use the quadruped and the talking head files from here. I will combine them in one file, in one structure. I need this step because uh, I want to use the, uh, the reach functionality of the talking hat. Big jump in the design process. We are still in Adobe Illustrator and uh, as you can see I created all the sprites and uh, copied into the uh, Cotton Animator template structure. Here it is the image head sprites, inside the eye sprites, the mouth sprites. So everything is uh, in the right place. And now we are in Cotton Animator and importing the SVG file that we created. Immediately we are jumping into the composer mode uh, where we can uh, set a lot of things. Uh, what uh, usually I do that uh, I'm updating the, the mask uh, conditions of the character head. I want to talk a little bit about the 360 head creator. Uh, this is the tool I always use, so uh, it's important for me uh, in order to make the face of the character uh, a little bit 3D like. Um, I don't set too much uh, angles, so I, I, I don't set the wide range of angles for the character, just the amount which is really necessary uh, to make it uh, more lifelike. I apply spring bones to energize my characters and to give them more dynamism. First uh, you need to create the bone structure of the sprite. Here you can see how I added bones uh, to the horns. Uh, 
When the bone structure is ready, you can open the spring editor. We can create groups, then uh, we add those bones in these containers that uh, will take part in the effect. In the spring editor, we can set the behavior of the sprites. There are factory presets available, but uh, you can uh, apply even custom settings. Use the preview button uh, to see how the motion will look like. For my giraffe, I added spring bones to the front hair, ears, horn and uh, tail sprites. The motion of the sprites will be automatic and managed by the software based on the settings you have applied. I also added the spring bones uh, to the hair. I really like it because uh, it's really funny when, uh, when the giraffe is moving and uh, and his hair is ringing. Really funny. Okay, let's see how it looks like during the animation. I apply a throat motion uh, from the content manager for testing. Okay, we need a, a longer period on the timeline. Ah, it's great. The horn is ringing. Let's check it from closer. Zoom in. Okay, it's perfectly ringing. Cool. Let's talk about freeform deformation that uh, came with version 5 of Cartoon Animator. FFD helps us to give our characters and other objects more dynamism. We can change the shape of the body in line with the squash and stretch animation principle. In the story of Maxi the Giraffe, I applied FFD in many scenes. I think it's the most recognizable here when uh, Hunter gets scared of Maxi. Uh, you can see here that uh, the Hunter character looks funnier with this uh, exaggerated body reaction. I'm deleting the FFD layer keys to show you how the motion looks like without stretching the body. The two ways next to each other on the left side with FFD stretching on the right side without. I think it's a big difference, you can see it. If you have speaking character, you will love the lip sync function. It would save a lot of time for you, you don't have to animate the mouse frame by frame. Is the way how you can import uh, the wave file. Just a few click, you open it, and here it is. I gonna stop you! You better run home! Or I gonna kick your bottom right now! Wow, it's amazing! Okay, here uh, just an example how my giraffe mouse spice look like. You see like it created the uh, several type of mouse. We arrived at the post-productions. Cartoon Animator 5 enables us to export a project into JSON format. Here you can see my favorite export settings. I use 100% image resolution and I set the flag of low memory export. This message said that uh, the process is slower by this way, but uh, I can tell you that the difference is not so significant, so it's worth checking the flag. The export process can be shorter or longer, depending on the complexity of your project file. Here we are, export is done. And now we can uh, import the file we created in Cartoon Animator. It's a JSON file, selected, imported, it's the import completed. Okay, what uh, I'm doing here, 
usually almost always uh, use the blur effect I apply them uh, on the layers of the background this is what you can see here I love playing with the shadows usually I set the shadow for the actors with uh, we have hunter and and hippo I'm doubling the layers they will apply the proper effects uh, the new shadow layers you can see everything here in the video okay first not the best example because uh, there is just a very small shadow under the actors but uh, I think it's, uh, it's visible and now we arrived at the end of this behind the scenes video thanks for watching bye bye hi folks we arrived at the end of the behind the scenes lookout thank you so much for watching this video I hope you liked it and I hope that it will help you make the most of cartoon animator 5 bye bye